Oh my god, Trav, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm here to tell you a quick story about a buck that my brother-in-law nicknamed Bullwinkle. This is a buck that I just started hunting a new area, found this deer spotting one night, saw him, did not get any video, but realized it was a 12 point. I knew there was an extra point there. Seeing a buck that's, a, that's got six on each side is kind of a big deal. So I actually ran into him again a few miles away, did get some footage of him that day, and just realized, gosh, like this is the buck that I am hunting. Then I ran into a buck that I called the crab claw buck. And they were both at the top of my list of deer that I'd love to see. Now I hadn't killed a deer in a year or two, so I wasn't gonna be that particular, but those were the bucks that I was that I was after. I did run into the crab claw buck from a stand. I just went to a new spot, picked on the map, thought that looks pretty good, set up. And the crab claw buck came by, did not get a shot at him, got some cool video. Two days later, I'm in the same spot and I had been seeing two button bucks popping out behind me. I glanced back and I saw two deer there. Soon it was those button bucks. That was a mistake. It was actually four does being chased by Bullwinkle. 8.52 at 7.15. I had a couple does coming in below me. There's four of them. They got to about 60 yards and the lead doe spotted me. Just as they started up the hill, that big 12 was coming out with them. He was running them pretty hard once they started up the hill. He was really right on them, grunting. So yeah, they, uh, they disappeared up over the hill and headed towards one of my hang-on stands. My brother-in-law was supposed to come hunting with us in the morning, but he's a union carpenter, works a lot of hours, and had just got, you know, done some crazy shifts and actually ended up oversleeping. So he messaged me in the morning asking me, hey, where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? He had only ever killed one other buck at this point. So he came out, I told him to go to my stand, put him in my stand, told him exactly where it was. You know, I had everything there, the lifeline and the whole work. So, he came, got set up, and he was prepared to shoot anything. He had a doe tag, he was looking for a buck, but he was not being particular. And I, I let him know, hey, that big buck kind of headed that way. <laughs> then you get the text. This is, uh, this is heartbreak time. 4.45, I just got a text saying I just smoked a monster. There's my kids at dirt bikes riding around here fucking everything up for me. Just smoked a monster. Stop. He says I'm not lying. I can't move. And I can't be mad because I told him to come up and I put him there, but if that ain't the most heartbreaking fucking thing ever. And now I guess I should leave. And not on the last hour. And of course, it's a little heartbreaking. It's a little, you know, you're a little salty sitting in the woods like, oh, come on, man. I was happy for Josh. I was not happy that the deer was off of my radar. I wasn't happy that the deer was dead. But if it was gonna be dead, that's, you know, I was happy that he got it. I had a camera light, but I decided I couldn't sit in that tree anymore. Now I know what was going on, so I headed out. I'm gonna go help in what's probably gonna be the most bittersweet recovery of my whole life. Explosion at the fucking target site. Explosion. Which, which way did he go? That way. I've seen him stumbling a couple of times. I don't think he can be that far. He broke my arrow in half. Dude. That looks like long blood. Not long? Looks like it. I should probably grab my bow, huh? He's spraying like crazy. Yeah.
Oh my god, Trav, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. I'm... Don't apologize. Shut the fuck, it's the biggest bucket I've ever fucking seen. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What do you think about that, bud? I can't believe it. Oh. I did hit shoulder. I just blew it right through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Dude. The worst part is the apologies. You know, whenever you whenever you shoot a buck like that, you gotta be excited and jumping up and down. And he felt terrible. He felt so bad that he uh, he shot this buck. And I'm like, dude, don't, no, 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 be excited. Huh? Talk to you the need people. a knife? No, I have one. I don't know where the hell I just put it. Because of my coat. My I even I even put a knife in my pocket before I left, and I never do that. <laughs> Almost a brisket shot at a nice angle, blew straight through it, punched this deer's heart out, and the deer died within, I would say it was 60, maybe 70 yards tops. So luckily, my father-in-law was there, my brother-in-law came over, and they drug it to the edge of the field. I got my buggy, we loaded it up in the buggy and drove it back to the house, called the family, and did some celebrating. But you know what, he puts a lot of homework into it. A lot and of see. Time into it. He has his cameras out all year long. He's always going over there. I'm not like deer. What? Why did you say? What is that? It's creepy. Pet him. Here. Oh, oh yeah, he's cold. It's wrong. It's wrong. You want to film, Taylor? I can go well, now. I like to you. Know, like you. Like 300 times. <laughs> no, I don't have the kill shot, but I just wanted to uh, to document what happened. I mean, it was a great moment for him. It was a great moment for me because, well, for me to have a stand hung that actually worked, that's a win for me. That means I did something right, man. I wing it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a methodical, you know, do everything by the book, do everything right, food plots, posted land, blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that. I go out in the woods and go, well, that looks pretty good. Well, this spot looks pretty good. I pick spots on the map and I go hunt them. I kind of felt like I was kind of narrowing that deer down a little bit. And whenever Josh was in one of my stands and killed that deer, it proves that I was actually onto something and it was working. So it made me feel good. And I wanted to put my hands on that deer in a bad way. And I'm glad that I got to because Josh was in the right place, made a great shot and uh, it'll hang on his wall forever. Awesome buck. Thanks for watching. Remember what we did last year? I filmed everything that I did. I posted a video every Tuesday at noon. The videos came out. I may change that. I may post the videos in the evenings. That's when most of my viewers are online is in the evening. So I think I'm gonna start posting those videos later in the evening, either Monday or Tuesday. I'll let you guys know in the future. Check me out. I have a TikTok channel that's doing pretty well. I post a lot of shorts, more funny clips and a couple of informative things and, and tips and stuff like that. But check out my TikTok, it's Storm in the Outdoors. Thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna do another cool ass thing this year i'm gonna post weekly updates of what i'm doing as it's happening and again ohio pennsylvania uh took my rutcation is november 4th through the 9th or 11th or 6th through the whatever something like that that second week in november i'll be on vacation then if i kill an ohio buck i kill a pa buck i'll go to damn indiana or virginia or west virginia or maryland i'll find somewhere else to hunt but i'm gonna post all that stuff keep you all updated i thank you so much Click that. I don't know what side it's on. Click. There's a subscribe button. Click that. Stick around. I'll see you next time.